Welcome to our adaptive scanning video. Here you will learn about a new feature that is useful when scanning with your 3 shaped desktop scanner. Adaptive scanning enables you to scan hard to reach areas. When prompted, insert the model into the scanner. Please remember that if using eScanner, you may select the Auto Start option. This means that the device will begin scanning automatically after detecting that an object has been inserted. Follow the prompted instructions Select an area of interest and click Next. When the post-processing step is completed, you may notice that a new visibility bar has appeared. When you click the slider, you will see the areas of lower point density. You may use the adaptive scanning feature to rescan the lower point density areas or holes. It is available for most of the scanning steps. In order to do it, click the Adaptive Scanning button. It will also turn the low density areas visibility on if it was off at this point. The Adaptive Scanning Selection tool works in the exact same way as selecting an area of interest before scanning. You can add or subtract the area, as well as change the tool's range by pressing Shift and scrolling the mouse wheel. Click the Add Selection Tool button and select those areas that are marked with a red colour. Click the Next button. The scanner will perform adaptive scanning. When it is finished, you can inspect the scan. All the red areas that were selected to be rescanned are now gone. In the Settings menu, you may change the settings regarding the scanning process. Click Settings. In the General Settings, you may set the number of adaptive scanning iterations. As well as enable the Auto Adaptive Scanning. The Adaptive Scanning Iteration setting lets the user choose to scan a low-density area more than once. The scanner will scan the area, then post-process it, then automatically look for low-density areas, scan again, and post-process again. It will scan and post-process the number of times that you choose to set. Be aware that you cannot set more than five iterations. Also, if the scanner doesn't find any low-density areas, it may stop before making all of the iterations. When the auto-adaptive scanning feature is enabled, after the post-processing stage, the software will look for low-density areas itself and will select them automatically with a green color so that the user doesn't have to select them. The adaptive scanning will then proceed automatically. Now you know how the adaptive scanning feature works and how to use it you may continue the workflow of scanning and designing your restoration. To do that, click Next. We hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.